Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to see how to convert the PDF file into text format and with the help of GTTS we are going to convert that text file into speech with the help of Python on our Raspberry Pi 4 using Raspbian OS Bullseye. So before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends first open the terminal and we are going to clone the repository so i will mention the link visit the link open the link from the google chromium browser and then you will see we have here a pdf hyphen text hyphen speech which is the repository and inside that repository we have here our convert.py python script so simply we need to first clone the repository copy it like this way minimize browser and open the terminal and we are going to clone the repository sudo git clone and paste that link over here simply paste it hit enter ok now we have our pdf hyphen text hyphen speech folder if i run the command ls as you can see this is what our repository pdf hyphen text hyphen speech so first we need to change the owner of that particular folder pdf hyphen text hyphen speech if i run the command sudo ls space hyphen la and mention the folder name enter as you can see right now this folder and inside that folder we have the files which basically belongs to root user as you can see the convert.py belongs to root user but we need to run this script with the help of py user because right now we are logging as a py user for that we need to change the owner of the file also the folder so how to do this so do ch own space hyphen capital r capital r stands for it not just change the pdf hyphen text hyphen speech folder owner it also change the file which basically we have inside the pdf hyphen text speech folder okay so for that we need to mention sudo ch1 hyphen r then the username pi and the group name also pi and mention the folder name run the command so this is what the command sudo space ch1 space hyphen r username group name is the pi pi and then we need to mention the folder name now if i run the command sudo ls hyphen la and mention the folder name hit enter as you can see here it belong with the root user now it belong with the pi user convert.py also belongs with the pi user here as you can see the convert.py is belongs to root user but we change the user the owner of the folder also the files which basically we have inside the pdf hyphen text hyphen speech we change that a uh, files owners now it belongs to pi user now we are ready i am going to clear the screen and we are going to use here a thony editor so simply I am going to minimize the terminal for just a minute and go to the menu section programming open the Tony Python IDE and here we are going to simply open that convert.py as you can see I have already opened it but I am going to close it go to the file click on open and this is what our folder pdf hyphen text hyphen speech click it convert.py file which basically we have inside that particular folder and simply click on ok it will open the convert.py script inside the Tony python editor so first thing first first we need to install these packages the gtts and py pdf2 simply open the terminal run the command sudo pip3 install gtts and capital p y small capital p d f and 2 this is what the packages gtts capital p y small capital p d f and 2 gtts and pi pdf 2 hit enter it will install these two packages i have already installed it okay you need to simply run the command like this way then we need here a mpg321 player because the gtts will create the mp3 file okay so sudo apt install mpg321 and hit enter it will install the mpg321 player okay simply clear the screen that's it we have successfully installed all the packages now we are going to move on our script i'm going to close it here okay so this is what our script of course we need to import the module from gtts import gtts 
that import OS, import OS stands for running the system commands and we are going to use here a mpg321, it, it is basically the system command. So, for that we need to mention the import OS, then import pypdf2 is of course our module which basically help us to convert pdf file into text format. Okay? Then I have created here a speak function with the help of gtts, as you can see the tts is equal to gtts, text is equal to a, language of course English, then tts.save, audio.mp3 file will be created and it will be saved, then os.system what basically do, it will run the audio.mp3 file with the help of mpg321 command. Okay? So, this is what simple function, the speak function. Then we need to mention the path of the file, the PDF file which basically we are going to use here. So, I have here if I go the file manager downloads, as you can see this is what the PDF file rp400.pdf. Okay? Simply click on and it will open that PDF file inside the Chromium browser. As you can see, it is open it. Okay? So, this file, this uh, PDF file which basically we are going to use for this tutorial. Okay? So, I am going to minimize just a minute and as I told you, this is what the PDF file. So, we need to mention the path over here. The path is equal to open and here we need to mention the file path. So, the file is basically inside the slash home slash pi downloads. So, slash home slash pi slash downloads okay? and then we need to mention the file name which is rpi 400 dot pdf and we need to mention the double quote like this way that is it. So, this is what the file path okay? then the rb stands for the read binary format okay? read binary format. Then we are going to use again the another variable which is the pdf reader, reader variable and this is what this is basically stands for the pi pdf2 dot pdf file reader it will the reader we are going to basically use the uh, pdf file reader from pi pdf2 which is our module so then inside that we need to mention the path variable as you can see this is what the path variable this path variable stands for the file path Okay, the file path which we have mentioned. Then from page PDF reader, okay, we are going to use the this variable as you can see the PDF reader. I have mentioned it here. PDF reader dot get the page. Dot get page means which page basically we want to read from our file. So if I open our PDF file and here we have total eight pages. And right now, I want to read a second page. As you can see, this is what our second page featuring a core core 64 bit uh, processor. So, this page is basically this page number is the second number. So, how to mention it? Here, just here, we need to mention I want to read here a second page. So, for that, I have to mention the one number. If I want to read the third page, so I want to mention the second number. I want to right now read the second page. So for that I have to mention the one number. Okay? Then it will read the second page. If you want to run the third page, you need to mention here a second page. Then it will read the third page. So right now we are going to read the second page. So I am going to mention the one number, the first. Okay? Then text is equal to it will extract the text from from page variable. It will extract the text from the from page variable. Okay, that's it. Then simply print the text variable. Then of course we are going to use our speak module to read the text. That's it. Now simply save the file, and I have connected my Bluetooth speaker to Raspberry OS, Raspberry Pi 4. Okay. Then simply I am going to now run the script. As you can see, it extract. It basically extract the text from the PDF, and now overview. Featuring a quad core 64 bit processor, wireless networking, dual display, output, and 4 Kelvin's video playback. Raspberry As Pi 400 is a basically reading the video computer file. built into a compact keyboard. Watching videos and learning to program using the Raspberry Pi OS desktop environment. Raspberry Pi 400 is available in a number of different regional variants and as either a computer kit containing everything you need to get started except for a TV or monitor.
or a computer unit only. Two Raspberry Pi 400. That's it friends. As you can see, we have successfully converted this second page from the PDF to text. Also with the help of GTTS, we convert the text into speech. As I told you, whichever page you want to read. Suppose here right now we have eight page. So I want to read the second page for that I have to mention here a one number. Suppose if I want to read the seven page, so you need to mention here a six number. Then it will read the seventh number page. So this is how this, uh, this module work for converting the PDF file into text format. Okay. I hope you will learn something from this video. We will meet our next video. Till then, thank you. Take care and bye-bye.